Hey, uh, YouTube. Woohoo! 100 subs. Thought I'd do something a bit special. This is a recreation of Old Ranella Junction in Adelaide, South Australia. Actually, my second recreation, I posted a pic of the first, which was closer to scale, more detailed, and took much longer, to my old Reddit account, but lost the save game and all other remnants shortly thereafter. This build was a crucible of troubleshooting, and I'm over it. So what follows is by no means comprehensive, but hopefully you get some meh. Playing zero. Roads. Crucial to composition is the angle at which lanes intersect so that pairs forming quadrangles as they crisscross are intersected by a third set more or less at the corners, in some instances. An attempt at this fails when approximating the placement of roots in accordance with the angle they appear to me to be converging toward the intersection, and gendering such errors as depriving this crisscross from being intersected without hindering the proceeding merge. Starting again, root convergence is determined by laying roads from the intersection after fine-tuning intersecting segments so lanes cross appropriately. This road is a little tricky, exiting the complementary intersection with four lanes that diverge in pairs, each ramification spawning a third lane before the stop line, but the bus lane merges to form two again as it enters. Realising the segment I have created is too thick for interaction with ordinary road, more custom lane work is begrudged. I thought the complementary intersection was going to be easy, I was wrong. Separation of the double lane I'm adding here for the right turn, though the innermost of the two won't function, later painted with a bike lane sheltered by chevrons. The double lane is useful, though, for straight on lane connection with the destination two lane road, where the median lane can activate midway through the intersection, allowing cars to diverge smoothly if they wish. The right turn onto the thick segment connects to both diverging ramifications, and I will tell you one thing I could go without doing for hours on end, and that is waiting for outside connection traffic to spawn every time I need to test a route. A lazy rendition of the Southern Expressway and joining ramps. Permanent stop lines are marked, coaxing cars to stop at the appropriate spot by creating a dummy intersection and moving the node around, acutely angling the intersecting segment to promote staggering when called for. Starting to mark some of the dotted lines and a sigh of relief when the borders are traced, revealing a reminiscent shape when underlaid with test asphalt. Chevrons, diagonals, and curbs are added, adjoining many line segments for thickness and conforming curbs with PO when needed. A guideline through the center point keeps chevrons consistently angled slash directed. Blue bike lanes and green bus lanes, that's how it be. The super bright lines elevated until they fade, though brightness compounds when narrow filling overlaps. Oh snap, bus requires non-highway for stop placement. Easily solved heading into the complementary intersection by upgrading this separate single lane to an alleyway, but the opposite side requires a new lane to trace its path, which causes bus madness when approaching their complementary, so remains separate for some time along the preceding route. All similar painting tactics down this end, tracing the path of cars to guide dotted placement. This turn. This turn right here. You need to go around the curb. The cars go around the curb. And oh sh, I forgot to join this turn to both ramifications. Do you know how scary it is connecting another segment to this node? Z-timed traffic light. Traffic bound for the complementary intersection as it exits the highway goes together with traffic entering the highway via the complementary intersection, feeding from the right turn during this time, plus the opposing right. Green light as highway exit traffic reaches the stop line, entry traffic feeding from the left turn now, before the opposing green feeds, straight through for traffic adjoining the hollow median while the antipode opens to their complement, with room for remaining highway exit traffic to disperse. Lastly, hollow median left turn persists while main and complementary through traffic traverse, then it starts again. A quick note on test traffic introduction, since only three outside connections will spawn traffic, some routes loop back around to others to fill out the lanes. They will not queue in all the lanes. As mentioned, this intersection was a Kokoda of troubleshooting, so moving on, but at least I know how to fix next time. That's all, thanks for watching, and goodbye forever.
Must. Not. Ruin.